Uh, if you haven't yet, um, log back in. And uh, I want to do one more thing before we kind of wrap up this uh, log in, log out thing. What I'd like to do is I want to make a menu over on the right that's going to handle things like logging in and out and maybe your own user settings, the debug, and, and things like that. So let's take a look at that. So we've got navigation open. And uh, if we want to create another nav bar, we need to do another unordered list. So we do UL. And let's just cop let's just go ahead and cut out log out. Paste that in here. Save this. And then uh, we need to give it a class. So we need to tell it's going to be a nav. And nav bar dash nav. Save that. Over here and refresh. I see nothing changed because we pretty much just created another nav bar that sets right over here. So it just starts up right after the first nav bar. So if we go over here to Bootstrap and under Components, click on Nav Bar. And uh, this is kind of what we're looking for over here. This is kind of scrunched up, so it's hard to tell, but this is forced over to the right. So let's look here. So if we do nav bar nav and then nav bar right, that should send us over there. So after nav bar nav, do nav bar dash right. Save that. And go ahead and refresh. There you go. But now our, our little debug button is in the way. So let's actually grab this whole debug here, cut that out, and uh, come over here, and we'll do an li, and then we'll paste that button along with the PHP inside that li, and save that, but we have something else we need to do too. We need to go into config, again, make sure you're in the admin folder and open up the uh, css.php and for our button debug we don't want these parameters anymore so just for now in case we want to change it later let's just go ahead and comment these out so just do a uh, forward slash asterisk and then down below do asterisk and forward slash so save that Let's refresh. There. Now it's part of the uh, nav bar. However, it's uh, a little funny looking. It doesn't really match up correct. So let's hop back over to getbootstrap.com. And over here on the right, under nav bar, you'll see buttons. So this will allow us to format the uh, nav bar button a little better. So on our button we need to make sure we give it this navbar dash button class so hop back over to Aptana go into navigation.php and uh, after button dash default navbar dash btn and uh, might as well actually to be proper, give the button a type. And it's going to be button. That seems redundant, but go ahead and save that. Refresh our page. And there, now it's lined up with the uh, logout. Um, now we're getting some horizontal scrolling here, and I'm not positive where that's coming from just yet. And uh, so we're going to do this a little bit differently. Let's go ahead and take this nav bar right out. And uh, I'm going to show you a, a different feature, and this is going to correct our little scrolling issue. 
if you want to float something to the right or send something all the way to the right side of the page, you can use a class that's pre-built into Bootstrap called pull right. So if we wrap this whole unordered list in a div and we give it a class and we call it pull dash right. Go ahead and close that. Grab this closing div and paste it at the end of the list. And go ahead and tab this out. If we save this, pop back over to our page and refresh. There you go. Now it looks right. But uh, now I want to do one better. And I want to put a drop down menu here and put the logout button inside of there. So if we pop back over to Bootstrap's website, and we take a look here on this nav bar right, and here's a drop down menu. There's a couple of them in here, but we can take a look at the syntax we need. So we need, first we need a list item with the class drop down. So above logout, do li and give it a class, call it drop down. Pop back over to Bootstrap site. Now we need a link, and that's going to be what triggers the uh, drop down. So we'll go ahead and copy this, and I'll walk you through it really quick. So we're going to put this inside the list item. So paste. And uh, we leave the href as the uh, hashtag here, so it doesn't go anywhere. We need to give it a class of dropdown toggle. This data toggle is important. This has to do with our JavaScript, which, uh, if you remember, is built into Bootstrap. And then here's our label. And then this is a uh, icon. Bootstrap actually has some icons built in. So if you can't find what you want in Font Awesome, you can also take a look at their icons, which are called glyph icons. And they're just done a little bit different. And I believe these are actually PNGs. I don't think they're actually vector. Um, I could be wrong on that. So let's go ahead and save this and just take a look really quick. So refresh. There's our drop down but there's uh, nothing in it. So let's look at components again and go back down to navbar and look at our drop down. We need another unordered list inside of the list item. So after the link we need ul and this needs to have a class of drop down dash menu so it knows that it's a drop down menu. So class drop down dash menu. And then the rest of it works pretty much just like a, uh, any of the other navs. So we'll just go ahead and we'll take our logout uh, list item here and cut that and paste it inside the drop down menu. Say save. back over here and refresh click on the drop down there's our logout button that's pretty cool and uh, before we finish this I want to do one step cooler and uh, clean this up a little bit save this and let's go to index.php and let's go to our setup.php over here in the config folder. Again, make sure we're in the admin folder as well. So open this up. And uh, down here underneath the page setup, which uh, we may be getting rid of that, by the way. But for now, just leave it there. We're going to run a query. We'll do Q equals. And then select all from users where email equals, then we'll use our session, 
session email, which I forgot to put that into uh, single quotes. So we'll run that. So r equals oops, r equals mysql i underscore query. And we need dbc and then q for query. And then we're going to go ahead and do a fetch a soch. And we're just going to call this user. So user equals mysql i underscore fetch soch. And we just need to send it the result. Save that. Now we have an array called user that has all the details about the user who's logged in. So that means we can pop back over to our navigation. And instead of having this generic label of dropdown, we can take that out and we can do PHP echo and then user and then we'll just do the uh, first name, so first close that, close the PHP, save it pop over to our page and refresh and we got an error not as cool as I wanted it to be <laughs> but that's good let me show you what we did wrong hop back over to setup email doesn't exist because we call it username which is a little confusing we may want to change that later on so changes to username save that and now ta-da now the user who's logged in will have their name here and we could go one step further and head back over to navigation.php and in this echo line here before the uh, semicolon we'll concatenate so we'll do dot and then a single quote and we're just going to do a space in there and another single quote dot then we're going to do user last save that refresh there we go, the full name. So then we can click on logout and we are logged out.